My name is Abigail. I'm one of the conference ambassadors here for the University of Arkansas. I am also one of the RAs that will be working here in Holcomb in the fall, so nice to meet you guys. Um, before we get started, I want to introduce our cameraman. Yeah. Hi, y'all. My name is Henry. Um, I'm going to be the cameraman for today, so if you have any uh, questions, feel free to drop them in the chat, and I'll be sure to ask. Uh, ask them or uh, try and answer them um, and let us know where you're tuning in from uh, like uh, city and state but for now what's uh, what's up next cool alrighty so before we head in we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the street so behind me was the entrance to Holcomb behind me now this big building right here this is Pat Walker that's where you can go if you're not feeling well um, we have a CAPS which is our counseling service we have a women's clinic in there. We have many cool clinics in there that you should definitely check it out. Um, whenever you're feeling sick, they are open from 8 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon. Um, so that is right across the street for you, which is really cool. And then up over there, up the stairs, we have Morgan Hall, which is where our dining hall will be, which is called Fulbright Dining Hall. It's nice. It's just right across the street for you to head and go get breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And then you can't see it right now, but right next to this building, we have Futural. Um, it is the connecting dorm to this. It's an all girls dorm. Um, you do not have access to that building, but it's a good reference point to know where that building is. Um, and then over there, you can see the big University of Arkansas sign. That is the admissions building. If you have any questions about admissions, um, the financial office is in there. That is there for you. So Holcomb is based in the center-ish part of campus, so you do have a lot of very close buildings that you can go to, and then our Walmart, which we like to call our Small Mart, <laughs> is at the end of Garland Street, which is just like a five-minute walk. So I definitely think Holcomb has been put in a good position, but we will go ahead and go inside and show the inside of the building. Awesome. It's a nice and convenient location. Um, when you get into the building, uh, you will have this little thing we like to call a fob. You will scan that on a little gray pad that's outside the door and that will let you into the building. Um, have your keys on with you at all times because if you get locked out, we really can't help you. We'll have to call the RA on duty and they will let you in. Um, but this is our front desk area. This is where you will come pick up packages. Um, lockers, these lockers here is where you will get any card mail, um, sometimes Amazon packages, small ones will fit in there. You will pick those up there. Um, any big packages you order, you order will be picked, will be picked up here at the front desk. Um, here you can also check out ping pong table and pool equipment, which we'll go see downstairs where that's located. And then any kitchen equipment you would like to use as well, you can purchase, you not purchase. You can check out from here, all you need is your student ID. Um, there are hours that this desk is opened. Um, they may change, but if not, it should be from 8 in the morning until 10, 10. o'clock at night. So that is when this is open. Um, there will always be an RA or a desk admin here available to help you. If not, you can give the RA on duty a call and they will help you out with that. Gotcha. What's up next? Um, we're going to go check out one of the study areas on the first floor. Gotcha. So speaking of studying, what are you studying? Um, so I'm an international and global studies major, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool because Holcomb is considered the international dorm. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have a minor in Spanish, so I'm mm -hmm. really looking forward to start taking those classes in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, Super cool. Let us know, uh, y'all, what your majors, uh, what you're planning on your majors to be and what you're planning on studying. So this is um, the study room on the first floor of Holcomb. There, it's, it's pretty big. A lot of residents like to hang out here. Um, sometimes your residential assistants or RAs will be holding any programs in here. That is an office, so that room will always be closed, but everything else is available for you to use 24 hours. You just need your fob to be able to key in this room, and then you're welcome to stay in here as long as you would like. Gotcha. So, uh, this is the first kitchen area, um, or this is the first kitchen. This one is bigger than the second one that we're going to see. Um, this is available to you as well, 24 hours. And if again, if you would need anything, um, you can ask the front desk and they should have it for you. 
Um, but other than that, just make sure to clean it up, view it as you found it. Um, even if you find it dirty, if you could please clean it up afterwards, that would be a huge help for not only your, R your RAs, but also the ISA team as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Gotcha. For the kitchen, um, if you do bring any food, make sure to label it. Residents are really good about leaving it alone, um, but it is always good to label it just in case. Um, this is what we call our piano room because our piano is in here. The piano you're more is available to all residents to use. It's nice for the RA's working desk to hear the residents playing the piano mm -hmm. while we're working. So we'd love to hear you play. Now we're going to move into our great room. So this is um, this is where a lot of programs, or most the majority of programs, are going to be held in this room. Um, one of the most famous programs Holcomb is known for is the Global Series. It's a program that's done once a month, um, and it goes over, each month it's over a different culture. Um, I remember my freshman year, I attended um, the Japan one, and I believe it was a Greece one, I think. Mm -hmm. But they're really cool because they bring different cultures in from all over um, the world, and then, um, residents themselves will perform any cultural dances there could be traditional food um, there will be games it's something really cool to check out and i think that's one of the coolest parts of being in the international dorm is you get to see so many different cultures me personally i love learning about different cultures so i'm super excited i will do my best to attend all the global series events mm -hmm. so i hope to see you guys there because that is a really cool experience um, but not only that, but your RA may hold their programs in here. I came to a finger painting program one time. They had a make your own dessert program one time in here. So it's definitely something to keep a lookout. Your RA or there will be posters will be put around the building for you to look at. Gotcha. Well. And Hunter, I just saw your question about showing a single room. I believe we'll um, uh, only be showing uh, one room where there's two roommates, but that'll be towards the, uh, towards the end of this live stream. Yeah, it'll, it'll be the same size, but it'll just be one bed missing. So over here we have our international student's office. Um, if you're an international student and you have any questions about um, financial aid, simply getting some help, you can come to the office located in Hong Kong, and they will be able to answer any of your questions. You are also more than welcome to call them, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you can email them as well, and they will help you out with anything you need. Gotcha. Um, we're going to go ahead and come downstairs to the first floor. Mm -hmm. So what grade are you in again? Um, so I'm a sophomore mm -hmm. here at the University of Arkansas. Um, I am a little bit ahead of most sophomores, mm -hmm. so I'll be a junior in this spring, which I'm excited for because I can graduate early. Yeah, um, always nice. Cool, cool, so cool. this is our laundry room. It, um, we have a an app that we will be using. It's called Speed Queen. Speed Queen. Um, it is a new system that we have put in place where basically you will have two washes per week. Mm -hmm. um, there will be more information released about that, but that is an app that you will download. I believe you will scan the washing machine in order to get it started. Mm -hmm. um, so just keep in mind that when you do laundry, you only have two per week, so that's something to look out for. Mm -hmm. So we have four washers and four dryers. We only have three residential floors, so there might be an issue. You might run into some time, um, sometimes when you can't find an available washer, you can simply just send out a groupie in your floor asking, hey, if someone has laundry, come get it. Um, if not, if you are the person to leave your laundry in here, please make sure to set an alarm and come pick it up on time because there are a lot of residents here that need to wash their clothes. Mm -hmm. so don't, want to, don't want to be one of those guys, right? One of those yeah. people who just leaves their laundry in for two hours. Yeah, just be mm -hmm. mindful of getting your laundry. That's all we ask. Yeah. Um, also an ice machine. Yeah, so that is available to you. A lot of residents use it, so it tends to break down sometimes. Um, but they always do their best to keep that up and running, especially the first half of the semester. It gets really, really hot. So mm -hmm. definitely have your water bottle on you, fill it up with ice, put it in water, and then it'll be nice and cool for the rest of the day. Sounds good. Where to next? Um, we're going to go ahead and look at our other hangout area. Mm -hmm. We have 
Um, and this is where our other kitchen will be located as well. Gotcha. Um, we have, there are multiple hangout areas in Holcomb. Mm -hmm. So there isn't some, you will always turn the corner and see a couch or a little study room to hang out in. All the gathering areas. Yes. So this is the game room. Um, it's nice because we have a really big TV so you can plug in your Nintendo Switch, um, your Wii, your PlayStation, anything like that. You can plug into that TV. You have a lot of sitting area to bring your friends. Um, I know a lot of RAs will like to do gaming programs. I might do a few gaming programs. Um, mm -hmm. It's definitely something to keep an eye out for if you are one of my residents or mm -hmm. even if you are not. You're more than welcome to come join. Um, this is our ping pong and pool table. Again, anything that you need to rent or to use, um, you can check out at the front desk. If you have your own equipment, you're more than welcome to bring that as well. Um, just make sure to take it with you once you're done. So this is our other kitchen. I like to think of this one as the baby kitchen. Um, however, this one will be used more just because it does have a stove, an oven, and a microwave. Again, everything in here is available to you. If you do need any cooking equipment, you can check that out at the front desk. Um, again, if you leave any containers in here, any food in the fridge, make sure to label it. Um, residents are good about leaving food alone. Especially a lot of residents have allergies, so they don't want to eat something. They don't know how anything in. Um, and then there's a cool little window looking out to the gaming room if you want to cook with your friends while you watch a movie. Oh, nice. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and go back upstairs. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of our double, um, double Door rooms. space rooms. Gotcha. <laughs> So I think you mentioned you're going to be a, a, an RA uh, next year in Holcomb. Could you explain kind of what an RA does? Yeah, so each floor has um, one residential assistant, which is what RA stands for. Mm -hmm. um, they are kind of in charge of the floor. They will live on your floor. And um, basically what we do is you will have to sign a roommate agreement if you have a roommate. Um, we will send you any information about winter closing or when you move out in the spring. Mm -hmm. um, also, y'all, we may lose a little bit of connection here, so just bear with us if we do. But sorry, continue. Um, so they are here. We are basically here to help you. Um, if you're not feeling good, um, you can always come to your RA. They will help you out. Um, you will see multiple RAs throughout the building, so you're more than welcome to reach to your RA or any other RA that you feel welcome. I will have, I always have an open door policy with my residents. So um, mm -hmm. my door will always be open for residents. Just shoot me a text and then I will be more than welcome to help you out if I'm not in classes or taking an exam. But that is basically what an RA does. Um, there is one community RA which is one you will see more of because mm -hmm. they will be active in the group group me they will be sending out information about programs um you'll be hearing about them for like any maintenance of the dorm any housekeeping rules mm -hmm. and then um you may have a neighborhood RA who will be in charge of um three buildings so they neighborhoods RAs cover Holcomb, Future, and the Quad so I don't think we will have any in Holcomb so you will mostly see community RAs in mm -hmm. But that is basically what an RA will do. Also, someone said you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. you, got, you got fans. <laughs> so this is, um, what a, this is what the community bathroom looks like. They look the same on all floors. Um, so it's not much different. It is really, really nice. I don't know why, but every time I've gone to a, a um, wedding, this is the kind of bathroom that I've seen. Oh, yeah? That's the kind of, that's the kind of F how Fun I fact, wedding bathrooms. Yeah, so <laughs> a lot of mirrors. So for the ladies, uh -huh. a lot of cute mirror pictures here. Uh -huh. But we have multiple stalls, we have multiple showers. Mm -hmm. um, you never really run into any shower issues just because there are multiple. I never ran into issues and I lived in Futural and we only had four showers. Mm -hmm. So there are four showers here so hopefully you won't run into any issues. But there are two bathrooms. They look exactly the same ones just at the end of the hallway for the residents that live at the end of the mm -hmm. hallway. Um, this bathroom is cleaned every single day. There is a certain time the ISA team will come through. Um, we will put up signs around what time they come. But it is clean every day except on the weekends. Um, our ISA staff does not work on the weekends. 
So it might get a little icky, but it will be clean first thing Monday morning. That's gotcha. All Oh, yep. So each floor has two study rooms. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so we have, this is one of the study rooms, and then the another one is down there. Mm -hmm. um, but we are going to go look at one of the common spaces on this floor. Yeah. And uh, I just got a question in. Riley asked, do you know when the, we'll be doing the quads? We'll be doing it uh, next week on Wednesday. study room slash hangout area. Um, a lot of residents like to come do their homework here. You can pull this table out into the middle and then sit down on the floor, hang out, and um, talk, study together. If you take an exam, um, you can put up a sign that says I'm taking an exam. Just as soon as you finish your exam, please step outside so other residents can come in here and study. But it has a nice little view of Garland. Um, yeah. If you want to take a break, you can mm -hmm. swatch. There's Pat Walker. Pat Walker, yep. So this is, there should be at least one size of these rooms on each floor. Mm -hmm. Currently on the third floor right now. Gotcha. Um, so now we will look at what everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> so this is what a typical room looks like if you live in a single room. It is the same thing except a tiny bit smaller and there's only one bed. So mm -hmm. you have a bed, a dresser, a nightstand, a desk, and then you have a cool little walk-in closet. Um, it's not very big, but mm -hmm. it's not, it's got some, some shelves, shelves in there. I didn't even know that until so just I now. I didn't you. Yeah. So you can get boxes and put your clothes in there as well. Um, and there also comes with a mirror, so you mm -hmm. don't have to bring a mirror. But um, this is everything that will be included. This one as well. Mm -hmm. This is another closet. Same thing, shelves mm -hmm. are on this side. So there are two closets per room. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> for the beds, I know the big question is what size they are. They are a twin XL. So if you have a mattress topper, which I highly recommend you bring. Um, I went my first semester without one and I regretted <laughs> it very much. Um, but a mattress topper, and the twin um, bed, the bed. If you buy twin XL sheets, they will fit, but they might just become undone a few times. So if you don't mind tucking the sheets back in, the twin XL will be fine. If you like having a little bit looser sheet and you don't want to have to worry about, oh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to have to worry about um, having to constantly tuck your sheets in, you can get a full size sheet and then it'll be loose but you won't have to worry about having to tighten your sheets a mm -hmm. lot so that's something i would definitely look at you can lock these beds um you can raise it up up to here or you can put in a maintenance request which i believe the link is fix it um if you google uh i don't remember the exact link but it's a uh, like thick like fixit.uark.edu, um, if you Google that, um, then that'll be uh, where you can request to have your bed lofted. Mm -hmm. Usually what I do, I usually type in UARC fix it, and then I click on the first link and there's a big like green box that says UARC fix it. You mm -hmm. Click on it, it'll take you straight to the link. Um, but if you, would like to, if you would like to raise your bed even higher, that is what you'll have to put in a maintenance request for. If you just wanna raise it up to here, Mm -hmm. I was able to do it on my own. Um, mm -hmm. You can also put in a maintenance request for that if you do not want to go through that. Um, but these beds are loftable. All the furniture you can move except your closet because it is built in. Um, but yeah, you can be creative. You can decorate your room as much as you want. Um, I would use command strips. I would avoid nails just because if you do make any holes in the wall, you will be charged for them. Mm -hmm. So um, I would use command strips. I have found that the Velcro command strips work really, really well um, just because once I take, because I'm constantly moving, um, I can keep the Velcro on, for example, my calendar. I have had the same Velcro for a year. I just put a new one on the wall. So I think the Velcro ones are the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about the room, please leave them below and Henry will read them out. Yeah. Um, Do one last uh, look around, see if anyone has any, any questions. So while we're waiting for questions, could you talk a little bit about uh, the kind of the pick one initiative yeah, uh, for, so, for our viewers? 
yeah, so all incoming freshmen, if you have not received an email, you will soon. Um, you will receive an email from, I don't remember her name, but mm -hmm. someone will send you an email about something called Pick One. And Pick One is an opportunity for a freshman to get involved on campus. Um, when I was a freshman, I was involved in the UREC Pick One, so it was, um, I was doing mainly the swimming and the mountain biking, that's what I focused on, but there was also tennis, um, there was soccer, hiking, anything, canoeing, anything like that was available for the UREC, um, mm -hmm. the UREC portion of the Pick One. From some other ones that I remember, I do know we had some student leadership ones. We, If you are in Greek life, there is a Greek life pick one. Um, the athletic, we do have a few separate athletic ones. Um, we have an intramural one, which if you like doing intramural sports, that is available as well. There are just so many different, uh, different pick ones that you can register. So when you open the email, it will let you pick three. So the one that you really, really want to do the most is the one I would put as one. And then second and three would be other ones you would like to do, but it's not like one that you would die if you can't do. Um, it is a really cool opportunity to get involved in campus. I met a few of my friends through um, Pick One when we did the Hyper Tour. Um, if you do decide to do the UREC one, you will have a Hyper Tour. You can go like at the pool, which is really, really big. I was a swimmer, so I love the pool area. Um, you can look at the gym, the basketball courts, um, the racket, the racket courts, which were the racquetball courts, which are really cool. Um, they have some ping pong tables down there. It's really cool. You should definitely, uh, even if you don't register for the U, uh, the U Red pick one, definitely go walk around the hyper because it is really big and it is a really cool facility. Um, but that about covers. Yeah. Um, that, do you want to go overhead and go over a week? Yeah, I'll do that in a little bit. We just got a question about uh, the width of the space between the closets. So I'm guessing like this area right here. And do you have something to, you got, oh, I guess you can just use your hand. Um, and it's the width between, so I'm guessing it's this, this white space right okay. here. One foot and nine inches. Okay, so one foot and nine inches between this space and feel free y'all to ask us any questions. Um, you know, if you want to know more about the measurements of a room, uh, uh, feel free, feel free to ask mm -hmm. us. Which those will be updated soon on our housing website. Mm -hmm. um, they are, some of them are a little bit incorrect, but they will be updated very, very soon with the correct measurements. Mm -hmm. Um, so just yeah. keep an eye out for that. Yeah. You want me to talk about a week? Yes. All right. Do you think I should hold it or do you think you should? Let me try and hold it. Okay. If it, to, if it goes wrong, myself. we'll. We'll fix it. I'll push that button. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. But um, so a week is a series of programs that start a week before uh, a week before classes. So you'll probably be moving in, you know, about a week, a week and a half before classes start. So you have this uh, period of time where you don't have classes and you get to have fun and spend time with your friends. Um, and so there's a series of programs that go on during that entire week, and you'll be getting a schedule um, that'll probably be taped up on your front door when you arrive. Um, about the different programs that you can go to. So there may be something as simple like a, a bingo night or a movie night, uh, but we also have programs that we do every year. One of them is called Chocolate Wasted, where you get free chocolate, which we all love, um, but you're also learning about, um, about side effects of alcohol um, and kind of a, like a healthy education about that. There's also, I'm not sure if we're doing it this year, but we're doing a, what we've done in the past is called Taste of Fayetteville, where we have uh, all, all these restaurants around Fayetteville uh, uh, come to the Greek theater and they uh, give out free samples essentially and there's just like a line of fr uh, food trucks that uh, all students can just pick up food at so it's a great time to um, hang out with your friends and have something to do and also meet people so um, I would definitely recommend um, while you're here um, when you first move in to look at the events that you want to go to and uh, go with your friends because it's a great time yeah cool awesome you did, perfect. did it I redeemed myself <laughs> But all right, we'll um, we'll wait a few more minutes to see if anyone has any um, like lasting questions. But uh, is there any advice that you would give to incoming freshmen? Um, I would say get involved. I know a lot of people are very intimidated. I know it's very intimidating com coming to um, campus. I know for a lot of students, this may be the first time you're out on your own, as it was for me. So I definitely went, my homesickness didn't end until March. Um, so it's totally okay if you come into your sophomore year and you're still homesick. Um, 
but we, getting involved will help you a lot because the more you get involved, the more people that you meet and when you are able to meet more people and make more connections with um, other kids your age that are going through the same thing, it will make everything so much easier. Um, honestly, my friends did help me. If I was not involved as much as I was, I probably, my homesick would prob hope sickness would probably still be going on right now. Um, but I was involved in Lee Hogs, um, which you are, if you are involved in that, I am involved in the Lee Morph program, which is available to upperclassmen, so I will probably see you around. Um, but Lee Hogs was the best way for me to get involved. I attended a lot of programs. Um, I volunteered a lot to help out with programs. It was just one of the easiest and funnest ways to get involved. But also, simply attending any programs your RA does, any programs your the Holcomb and Future Hall does together, um, any programs held by university programs or the university itself are also really cool to attend. Um, so just look out, follow everyone. There's everyone has a social media, so just follow them on Instagram, and you will get updates about any programs going on. Um, follow Pat Walker if that is something you are interested in. We have our CAPS counseling. I previously went through the CAPS counseling and it is really good. Mm -hmm. um, I would highly recommend it if that's something that you would like some more help on when you get here. You're more than welcome to come find me or your RA and they will be happy to help you with that as well. Um, but there's so many opportunities on campus to get involved um, and just make sure to take time to yourself. That is a big thing. Um, if you're not a big workout person, go paint in front of the Old Main. I have a lot of friends that would go read in front of Old Main. Um, just step outside the dorm and step away from your classes and definitely take time to yourself. That is very important because um, if you, which I made this mistake in the, for the fall of my freshman year, is I didn't take time to myself and I was very, very stressed out. And by the end of it, when I finished, I just realized that I had so much stress that most of my winter break was de-stressing and when I started in the winter I was able to apply those self-care procedures or self-care tips that I had mm -hmm. picked up along the way. So definitely find ways to get involved and make sure to put yourself first. There's nothing wrong with putting yourself first. That is the biggest advice that I can give anyone just because that is the biggest advice that I have taken away. Um, awesome. Yeah. Well, gosh, thank you so much for sharing and for giving us the tour and I think that's all, all the questions that we had. So. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and sign us off. Cool. So it was really nice to find to meet y'all, but um, <laughs> I hope to meet y'all soon. I will see you guys in August because a lot of you guys will be living here. Um, I will be on the third floor. If you ever need me, you're more than welcome to come knock on my door. I have a big residence assistant sign on my door. You're more than welcome to come and reach me whenever. Um, but I'm excited to see y'all in August. Awesome.